So Tim, am I right in thinking there are four principal tastes? Bitter, sour, sweet, and salty. Salty. Is that right? Partly. Okay. That's, uh, so much research going on in this area, and this, this really gets back to my, I don't know, uh, nervous breakdown or epiphany, however you want to say it. I, 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 I was taught that four tastes, and that there were different parts of the mouth responsible for yeah. each, and both of them are wrong. Okay, so the whole okay. tongue map thing, chuck it out, get rid of it. Some people have the illusion of getting tastes in localized, but most people don't. So we need to remove that from all of the literature and, and teaching and whatever. That'll make a lot of you feel better that it's like you don't get it like me. All right, secondly, um, you know, we know what salty is. Salty is pretty easy. Uh, sour, lemons, vinegar, etc. cetera. Uh, bitter, green vegetables and that. And sweetness is from fruit and the like. Now, uh, what's also handy, if you need some salt, you can just pick up some salt. If you need some sugar, you can get some, some sugar. Uh, if you need some acidity, you know, you can squeeze a lemon or put something sour on it. Um, and uh, as I was trying to rationalize the cause-effect relationship of wine and food, something was happening not explained by those elements. And again, the taste is separate from smell. It's, it's a, a separate set of of sensations. So there was sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and 20 years ago I heard the word umami. And I'm like, oh great, what is that? Umami is a Japanese word that over a hundred years ago was um, uh, used by a scientist to explain a fifth taste phenomenon. Umami is a basic taste. So just as food might have sweetness or not, food might or might not have umami. And humans love it. It's possibly the single most important taste humans can recognize, and we don't have a word for it that actually clearly uh, illustrates what it is in food. So we know when it's not there. So if I say tofu, it's like, you know, there's something missing there, and that that's missing is umami. It's that sometimes described as savoriness, but it's um, the ripeness of a tomato is umami. The sweetness of an asparagus, that wonderful, that is umami. Human breast milk has 10 times more glutamate naturally, which is the, the primary umami compound, 10 times more than cow's milk. Um, so who cares? Well, to make really good tasting food, umami is imperative. When we make sauces in stocks, we're actually drawing out the umami compounds and putting it into solution and can reduce it and condense it and make it really delicious. When you add certain combinations of food, you also synergize umami taste. So we'll get into a demonstration of that in a second, but let me just go through the basic. All right, mushrooms. And this is a raw mushroom, so pick, pick a piece. Take a bite, and that's not umami. <laughs> there may be a little bitterness, or a little smell, mushroomy, but nothing satisfying. Yeah, yeah. The same mushroom put in a, a, a little container in, in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Something way more satisfying yeah, out there. Yeah. That's umami. So we converted glutamic acid to glutamate through cooking. You were asking about why do bell peppers go from this bitter, unfulfilling kind of a taste to become much more delicious when you cook them. Um, a lot of complex reactions going on, but it's also creating more umami taste. So we love this umami taste, we love sweet taste, uh, and we love complexity. And if we go back to our, our discussion about the primary tastes and, and whatever, we like it when there's a combination of umami and salty and sweet and sour. And then some people grow to like bitter, uh, other people are so sensitive to it they never grow to like it. Right. All right. So. Umami taste uh, also comes from um, a group of compounds, the most notorious one of which is MSG. Mm -hmm. all right? MSG is monosodium, which is actually salty taste. Mm -hmm. So it's salty and has umami taste. And it's, you know, this isn't to promote MSG, but it's actually the natural glutamate that's making the asparagus delicious. 
It's what makes tomatoes delicious, etc. Glutamate is a natural amino acid found in virtually every living tissue. 150 pound human is four pounds of glutamate and your brain won't function without it. So there's a lot more misinformation about glutamate than true information. And you can just um, take a little sip of this and then uh, you can actually just spin it into here. But this is umami taste. And you can kind of get it in your mouth and it's unremarkable. Would you agree? Yeah. All right. So, took a long time to learn this, but there's a second group of compounds called nucleotides. Nucleotides are formed from yeast and fermentation and different enzymatic reactions. And so a tomato will naturally have the glutamate in it, but it's unremarkable. When it starts to actually decompose, we call it ripe, mm -hmm. it starts to create the nucleotides. And the nucleotides in combination with the glutamate causes an explosion of umami taste. Because the funny thing is these nucleotides don't have themselves the umami taste, but they synergize it. Okay, so try that now. There's a lot more going on there. Yeah, and so the proper combination of, of these nucleotides and it's all, it's completely natural, and it's also what chefs have learned to do without their knowing it. So when you make a, a Caesar salad, and you're putting in the components, you've got the lettuce and the bitterness, and you've got the salt, and you've got um, the acidity with the lemon juice, and you might add, even add a little Worcestershire sauce for, uh, for, for a little sweetness and a lot of umami. It's when you put the Parmesan cheese, which is one of the most rich umami-laden foods in existence, soy sauce, fish sauce, condiments have lots of umami very often, but we don't know it. And then you add the anchovies. The Parmesan cheese has the glutamate, all right? The anchovies are decomposing. They've got the nucleotides, and boom, you get way better flavor. So it's imperative to make really delicious food that actually chefs, uh, I do a lot of teaching around the world and, and speak at symposia about how to get the most rich umami laden food. Our Dover Soul had lots and lots of umami. And that by knowing that you make more delicious food. Now, the problem is now we've made delicious food, but it tends to make the wine suck. <laughs> yeah. And that's the downside because wine, because of the yeast and the fermentation, there's natural glutamate, and actually the, the yeast first scavenge and then they resynthesize glutamate, and then when you leave it on the yeast and the leaves, you're actually creating, if you've ever had plain Chardonnay and then leaves stirred Chardonnay, it's exactly that taste you just experienced. When you add, add champagne entourage, you're adding that creaminess, that mouth feel, that's umami. So now you can learn to recognize it. And then, as you have it in your food, it tends to accentuate the bitterness and the astringency in the wine. Use your salt, use a modicum of lemon. The food gets more delicious, problem solved. So umami taste is a primary taste. It's delicious, combination of glutamate and nucleotides. And that, that combination may easily simply come from Asiago cheese and anchovies. Uh, classically in, in pâtés, um, they used to put anchovy into the pâtés to add that unctuousness. In every part of France and Italy, all coastal areas had a form of what now we refer to as Thai fish sauce, a hugely valuable culinary commodity to add lots of umami taste. In Italy, they use Parmesan cheese at the table to add more umami to the food, and people love it. In, uh, in Asia, they usually use soy sauce to do the exact thing. It's salty and umami.
And your son is craving umami and sweetness. And one of the premium soy sources of sweetness, umami from the tomatoes, acidity from the vinegar, and this is his baby. And mm -hmm. the salt's in there as well. So we crave it and we love it. Now I know. <laughs>